Hey tires, Darren here, back with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying an updated version of my X1 Minnow. And this is my updated version of the Brookie coloration. So this is tied to mimic a small brook trout somewhat. Um, I've updated it with a little bit more modern materials and Rather than making it all with the widow's web, I've added dubbing into the front. It's been a pretty good pattern over the years. I've taken quite a number of uh, pike and bass with this pattern. It's pretty straightforward, but there's a few key concepts in there to pay attention to. So let's have a look at the materials and get started. Get a fresh hook into the vise. So today I'm using a Mustad S71 saltwater hook. This is a number two, and I've just put a few wraps of lead on there just to speed things along. So we'll start the thread just behind the lead and then wrap back over it just to make sure it's on there securely. I'm going to take a few strands of pearl flashaboo, maybe about five or six, and we're going to tie those on just behind the, or in front of the lead. We'll tie that over top. just into the behind and then back. Then we're just gonna wrap this forward. Of course you can use your rotary vise for this, speed it up a little bit. I prefer just to wrap it end over end just so I can kind of guide where the flash boo sits. And just tie that off behind the eye. Want to make sure you give yourself plenty of room there because we're going to tie in quite a bit of material. It's a nice pearlescent body. So we'll start by flipping our hook up. And I'm using a synthetic hair. I think this is uh, called Widow's Web from Montana Fly Company, but um, you can also get something almost identical from Fly Tires Dungeon and a number of other companies. I believe it from Fly Tires Dungeon, this is Congo Hair. I'll put a link in the description just to be sure. So we're gonna take a small clump what I like to do is I like to just separate that in about half and then lay it on either side of the hook. And we'll just use a couple wraps to secure that. And then we're going to separate this and fold it back. Just make sure that's tied in properly, and then we can flip back. So I want to come in here with my scissors, and I want to cut on an angle this way rather than this way. And I'll show you why in a minute. But we're just going to come in slowly and cut out a little bit at a time until we get to our desired length. Now 
you can kind of see the profile of that creates. You get a thicker belly and it's smooth so the water's going to flow over that pretty nicely and the fly's going to maintain a lot of its shape. So next I'm going to tie in a lateral line. I'm just going to take a few strands of a light pink flashaboo and you can either tie them in directly on the hook shank or on top or you can tie them to the side if you like. I think we're going to tie this one right on top. Provides a little bit of separation between your colors as well. Right. Then we'll just fold that over. And I tie, uh, trim those off to the hair longer than the than the belly. So for the wing, I'm going to use this darker green color. If you go with the Fly Tires Dungeon Congo hair, they have a a, a really great selection of colors. Lots of uh, different minnow type colors you can choose from. So I'm just going to extend this out to where the flash ends. Actually I'm going to bring it in a little bit shorter because I want this top to be a little bit longer. So just make sure that that's kind of matched. And before we kind of commit to that, we're going to just come in underneath and we're going to trim that out kind of the same way we did with the belly. So we've got a little bit of a longer wing on there. And you can just eye that up if you need to trim out a little bit more. Of course you can trim it out on top a little bit if you need to. And just trim that touch. And after you're done with the fly, it doesn't hurt to take a comb through that just to kind of help settle the fibers. All right. Next, we're going to take a little bit of Chartreuse laser dub. Don't need too too much, but just need a clump. And what I like to do is I just in my hands I just kind of pull these apart just so that the fibers kind of align. You get a nice stack when you do it like that. Just want to lay that on top of our belly. And we're just going to add a couple wraps right in front here. I just want to kind of keep the dubbing on the bottom and on the top separate as well. So on the top I'm using a an olive color that I mixed with a little bit of copper flash and again I'll do the same thing I'm just kind of pull everything out to kind of stack it a little bit kind of put an initial placement there and then wrap everything And then when we've got that on, then we can push the dubbing that's forward over a little bit. Make sure we got it in place. And 
We'll add just a little bit of a thread dam in front. Then we'll add a whip finish. Alright, so now we'll kind of brush this fly out. You want to basically give it a good brush back and get rid of any loose mer loose uh, dubbing that will come loose later. But you don't want it to come loose right now because we're going to stick on a pair of eyes. So you just want to make sure you kind of got a nice profile, something that you're happy with. So then next we're going to come in here with a little bit of super glue. And just along the lateral line. We'll add a little bit. I'm going to take a 3D stick on eye. Replace that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. You want to try and get it about the same spot. Try not to stick it on your finger if you can. So once that dries, it might be, it might move around a little bit, but it should be pretty secure on that fiber. And there you go, there's my X1 Brookie. Thanks for stopping by my fly tying channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.